Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. We got to dive into the Big East. Tyler Hansborough, Rob Doster, Chris Mack, we're live Sirius XM Channel 84. We are streaming over on Stadium. Providence, Creighton, overtime. It was yet another ridiculous thriller played by the Creighton Blue Jays. Uh, they lost this one um, at Providence. The final score was 91 to 87. Devin Carter. Finished with 28 points, 11 boards, 6 assists, 4 steals, and the biggest shot of the game, a 35-foot 3 uh, with 14 seconds left in regulation to force overtime. Before we get into just big picture what this means for Providence, Mac, how good is Devin Carter? Oh, man. You know, and, and, and as good as he is skill-wise, just, you know, there are certain players that are never too big for the moment. That, that the moment isn't too big for them. They relish it. Like you almost know, hey, if this is a tie game and there's 20 seconds left, whether they're on defense or they're on offense, they're either going to get a steal, they're going to come up with a key block, they're going to make a huge shot, you know, just – and he's that guy. You know, this, this isn't the first time. I mean, he does it seemingly every game. He plays with tremendous toughness but always seems to make the big play in the game's biggest moment. Man, what, what a dude. He is he is a hell of a player. Yep. Um, Tyler, Josh Aduro. Uh, it was kind of a two-man show for Providence tonight. Josh Aduro had 32 points, 12 boards, three assists, going up against one of the best defensive centers that you're going to find in college basketball. Uh, there is no doubt in my mind that if you're watching Josh Aduro play, Tyler, that you love this dude's game. I have no doubt about it. Scrappy player, and like you said, uh, having that night against uh, Kalkbrenner, uh, one of the best defenders in the country, extremely impressive. I watched the game, and I honestly thought Creighton was going to pull it out. I felt like they had the momentum, and Providence just took it took it from them, and they had an answer every single time. Uh, this is actually one of the best games I've watched all year, and some of the shots that Carter hit descended into overtime. And then some of the shots at Creighton, you know, went back down and uh, had an answer for unbelievable game. But Adoro had an unbelievable night against one of the best defenders in the country. Yeah, this was a massive win for the Friars, who came into tonight ranked 58th in the net, um, four and five in quad one games, two and three. Uh, in quad two games, they don't have any bad losses, but it was kind of one of those things where they were stacking up L's. And even if you don't have anything that's going to weigh down your resume, uh, it can be kind of tough to be able to uh, put yourself in a position to get a good seed, especially when a lot of what they did uh, came without uh, or came with Bryce Hopkins um, in the lineup. So they've now beaten Creighton at home, Wisconsin at home uh, by about 30, and Marquette at home um, as well. And they got that win at Seton Hall. That's their last quad one win. So really, really important win uh, for the Friars to be able to boost their tourney hopes. Thank you for watching the Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.